Hello icons how are you all we had uploaded a topic in minds park and since we know our school's culture to work we should not postpone any work and i hope all of you have completed the minds park topic in the beginning of this academic session i have told that there are many types of numbers like ordinal numbers cardinal numbers roman numbers fractions decimals etc and you have had a good understanding of these types of numbers in grade 3 itself right we are in the standard numerical operation of addition in our previous classes we understood how to do addition of like fractions and also solved sums from the practice book isn't it now let's move to decimals let us recall what decimals are decimal is one of the forms of representing numbers it is a number or a value between two whole numbers for example take a decimal number 3.75 the value of this number lies between the whole numbers 3 and 4 it is more than 3 but less than 4 have you observed the dot between 3 and 75 this is called the decimal point and the left side of the decimal point is a whole number the right side of the decimal point represents the decimal part like how we have different place values in numbers decimals also have place values the very next number on the decimal point is 10th decimal then comes hundreds of place and then thousands place and so on now coming to addition of decimals though it is decimal addition it is exactly like addition of whole numbers only thing that we have to take care of is the decimal point steps for adding decimals step 1 write down the numbers one under the another with the decimal points lined up step 2 put zeros where either the whole number or the decimal part is missing so that the numbers have the same length step 3 then add using the column method of addition remember to put the decimal point in the answer let us take an example of adding the decimals add 1.452 to 1.3 line the decimals up using the decimal point then in the step 2 write the zeros where the numbers are missing either in the whole part or the decimal part here since 1.3 does not have the complete numbers as in the first number we add extra zeros now add using the normal addition method and remember the decimal point so the final answer is 2.752 let us take another example add 3.25 0.075 and 5 we follow the steps as usual line the decimals up then pad with zeros to make the same length so the first number 3.25 doesn't have an extra zero in the thousands place so we add a zero the whole number 5 does not have any decimal part so we add all three zeros then add using the normal column method the final answer is 8.325 i am confident that you can do addition of decimals very easily if only you practice so are you ready for the task 